Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com, and this week's fun is not fun. Oh, it's not going to be fun at all. Certainly not for me. I've been uh, fighting a little finger wart. Well, okay, it's getting to be a big finger wart for over a year now. Um, I thought I had it uh, fixed a couple times, and then it seems like it's almost gone, and it, 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 it grows back. Uh, I've used, this is my second kit. I follow the instructions perfectly and do everything. It just does really good for a while and and then uh, comes back so in the past I've I've had some warts on this hand over my entire life since early age never on this hand so tell me what that means I don't know um, but when in the past I've never had you know I never had money to go out and buy a kit these things aren't cheap you know and they didn't even have them when I was young in, in, in a store so of course being in electronics, I always use the Weller wart remover, and yes, that's what it means. It means a Weller solder iron. So I'm breaking out my old uh, flame stick, Weller solder iron, and we're going to see if we can get rid of this guy. So if you don't have the stomach for this, yeah, turn t -t tune away now <laughs> to the bench. So am I recommending anybody do this? No, I'm not recommending anybody do this. But. If you feel like watching me try the Weller wart remover. So if it'll focus on right there where my thumb is there, that's all I need to get rid of. And it's uh, kind of annoying. So, well, now yeah, here we go. Fuck yeah. Oh. Fuck. Oh, and that doesn't take much heat to hurt. Oh, that stinks. Oh. Fuck. Damn it. Oh. Dang thing is deep. The deep one. Oh, Ooh, there are the, you gotta try and not get too much blistering on the good tissue while you just keep tapping heat down into the center of that bad boy. And eventually, what happens is you stop feeling the pain because the bugger he's attached to the nerves or something. And well, when he dips up the ghost, he uh. The pain kind of stops too. It kind of burns the nerve that he's attached to, I guess. Ooh, yeah, now that's feeling good. Okay. Okay, now the pain starts to stop. Now the only pain I feel now is just when I get close to the when I get close to the live tissue around it. That and then that's a little bit of pain there, but I don't feel that deep pain that that wart was connected to anymore. My only thing is I, I don't want to risk not getting deep enough because you know then it's going to be just like the it's going to be just like those freezing ones it's just it's not going to be deep enough to to kill it. Ooh look at that she really sparked there. I suppose what happened is the blood supply stopped and it was no longer able to take away the heat. The blood supply was taking the heat away and when the blood supply stopped it just flamed right up. So as ugly as it is I'm fairly confident that probably killed off, it certainly killed off the blood supply to him. Okay, we'll report back with some healing progress um, over the next few weeks and see how she does. Well, that's a little over, just a little over one day of healing. As you can see, I got, uh, I got a little too much heat. I came in with the iron from this side and hence it was radiating heat down and over blistered that wreck in the tissue I didn't want to damage. So what I should have done is I should have come in from an angle over here and then where the skin is tougher and could take the heat and probably change positions a few times radially 
so as to get the heat where I wanted it without over radiating one side like I was when I was coming in from one side but okay we'll see how it looks as it heals yeah I definitely got too much heat on that that's uh, <coughs> not the best looking wound Well, day eight, and it tore when I was doing some yard work, and the, basically just blood came out. But I will get some Neosporin on it, the Band-Aid, let her heal a little bit more. Soon we'll be chopping her out. Well, it looks like we got to a point where things are going to start to fall off. So let's nip it off. That would be the wart there. Hmm. That's the back side. It's one dead wart. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be a scar, but it won't be a wart anymore. And it was free. Well, cost me some band-aids, I guess. Day 23, looking pretty good. Yep, day 40. It's been uh, several days. It wasn't really changing much from day to day, so I figured I'd just wait till I considered it healed. And, and there's a little nick of a scar there um, where the tissue's a little different, but other than that, it's all back to normal again. No more wart. Well, there you go. Wart's all gone. Um, looking good. Uh, hope that was, hope that went fast for you. It's about 40 days overall. Uh, I don't recommend doing it. It's very painful, uh, but it works every time for me. So I would uh, say use the, use the doctor approved method, um, cause you could get an infection or anything else. So definitely not recommended by me, but it is what I do. So there you go. The Weller wart remover. Thanks for joining.